This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Q-Tip will be co-teaching a new hip-hop and jazz course at NYU next fall semester. So he'll be joining music historian Ashley Kahn to teach that course, which will examine the intertwined relationship between jazz and hip-hop. Now, Q-Tip did share a brief statement about how excited he is. He said, I couldn't be more excited to share with the students what I know, and I look forward to them also teaching me. Teaching is an exchange of sharing and receiving for all involved. So that class starts on September 5th. And today's his birthday. Today's Q-Tip's birthday. It wow. is. Mm-hmm. We don't have that on our birthdays list. We have uh, John Madden. We have Kenny Lattimar. We have Babyface, and we have African Bambada. But I don't see Q-Tip. Today is Q-Tip's birthday. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Happy birthday, Q-Tip. They didn't know that. Well, happy birthday. All right, Kim Zosiak and Corey Bearman and got into it with Marlon Wayans. You know Kim. Don't be tar- party tardy to the party, Kim. Mm-hmm. From Real, Real Housewives of Atlanta. of Atlanta. Yes, and mm-hmm. she has her own show with her husband. Well. I guess uh, they were upset about a picture that Marlon Wayans posted of Kim, and he said, no, we are not in production on White Chicks 2, the F, because everybody says she looks like uh, the chick from White Chicks 2. She does, though. All what's, right, what's, well, they the were problem? insulted by that, so here is Kim Zosiak and Corey Bearman talking about Marlon Wayans' joke. I think it's inappropriate that a grown-ass man in this Me, me Too movement is you know, knocking a woman. I think oh, it's gross. Stop. This is disappointing. Oh. General, yeah, man. Would he come, would he say that if you were standing right there? No, he wouldn't. That's, that's, a, that's a total coward move, you know. Ha, Marlon Wayans is a comedian. She said she actually enjoys Marlon Wayans. So you don't like Marlon Wayans when the jokes on you, and then you're gonna bring up the Me Too movement? Yeah. Stop it, man. A little extra. Stop, stop. A little extra. Stop. Well, Marlon Wayans responded to TMZ. Here's what he said. I'm a comedian. I know. It was I'm just a... jokes. Of course, I love a girl. I met. I think I met her and her kids and her husband, and they're nice people. Right. But. I will say this, you know, I think that we all have to be cognizant, like, I, the picture, I just, I I actually just saw it online, and, uh, you know, I was just like, okay, I did think it was Sean, and what just, and so I was just like, you know, what the f***? That's right. Drop one of clues bombs from all the wins. You don't let that joke go. You don't think it's whack that she tried to weaponize the Me Too movement for a she joke? She did. Yeah, it was a joke. Had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. And she, she, with she it. knows Marlon Wayne. She even said, "Me and my kids used to like you." So it's it's funny when he's joking on everybody else. When jokes on you, you get all sensitive and want to weaponize the Me Too movement. That's why. And she also isn't the nicest with things that she has to say about other people as well. So and the picture does kind of look like it. All right. Well, here's some more of what uh, they had to what Marlon Wayans had to say about Cry Beerman. The husband, look, he's supposed to defend his wife. Right. But I know part of him is like, dang, thank God somebody said something. I've been trying to tell her to stop doing this damn surgery. I told her not to go in for the tenth time. The night was good enough. I don't think God makes anybody ugly. And people need to embrace what God made. Why you say Lord have mercy? I didn't even really pay attention to the oh, picture. Oh, you didn't see the picture. I, did. I read the caption. And what does it look like? She looked like the girl off White Chicks. Mm-hmm. 100%. All right, now Sway Lee said that he's going to drop part two of Unforgettable this week, so I'm sure you guys will be excited uh, for that. He said 15,000 retweets equals a new song of Swaycation, part two of Unforgettable, go. So there you have it. He said it's one of his favorites off the album. You don't want to remind people what Unforgettable is? Yeah, he should have released that a couple months ago. Do I want to remind French Montana? Yes. With Sway Lee. I'm just reminding. You don't think you're supposed to listen to the show? Know that Some song people might have forgot. That was months ago. Yeah, that serious. was months ago. Some that was a long time ago. Come on, y'all. I'm dead serious. He I had to think about it when you, ago, yeah. I had to think about it when you said it. I'm going to be honest. It's Sway Lee, and you know he's on the song. I, I had to think about it. Oh, my gosh. I did. All right, Takashi 69 is apparently headed into court today. Now, he was supposed to go ahead and uh, pass his GED in order for him to not get locked up for up to three years if he's unable to do so. So here's what he has to say. Yo, so I got court tomorrow, and you know what I'm saying? I want everybody to put me in their prayers. You know, hopefully we come out on top. You know, GED is done. Everything is done. But you never know what the judge is going to say. See, the thing is, I don't know if he's trolling or not. So only thing I can say to myself is, okay, we already prayed for him. So I'm going to let that prayer stand. Well, he said he passed it up here, so he shouldn't have a problem. But I don't even know if he's really in court today. You just never mm. know with that guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? True. All right, now DJ Khaled's in trouble. Now pay attention because this is a uh, different type of story. So he was eating cereal and he was pouring on Snapchat Bel Air and Ciroc Vodka over his cinnamon toast crunch cereal. There's nothing Weight Watchery about that. 
According Nothing. to Truth in Advertising, that's the organization that he's in trouble with. Why is he still on Snapchat? Now, they said in a letter to Khaled's attorneys, Khaled also recommends Ciroc with homemade cookies, Ciroc slushy style, <laughs> Ciroc at this. lunch, dinner, and the None shower. None of that is on the Weight Watchers diet. I love this. Go. There is every reason to believe that at least a substantial minority of Khaled's <laughs> followers are under age 21. Oh, boy. So that's the problem. They did a 10-month investigation into his Facebook, Instagram, t- Twitter, and Snapchat. And he also did not disclose that he's a paid pitchman for those brands. So that don't matter on he had to remove media. some of the posts and add the hashtag ad to other posts to avoid a probe. Yeah, because you know when you're advertising a company and okay. he, he's paid to advertise for Ciroc and Bel Air, you can't just post things without letting people know with the hashtag On ad. social media? Yeah, you can't do that. That's why when you see people posting mm. things, they put the hashtag ad afterwards because they're paid to do that. So you can't do what that. What about all them calories, cinnamon toast, crunching, Ciroc, and uh, Bel Air uh, producing when you're on Weight Watchers? That's not part of the Weight Watchers diet. Show me what that's that, at on the Weight Watchers diet. That's not part of the diet. So what happens? You can go, what, get a fine? What, like, what could happen? I mean, they'll them? investigate. Yeah, you could get fined. You could get in trouble for it. You know, it's Really? Not, yeah, you, that's why everybody does it. That's why if you ever do a deal with a company and they're like, we need you to post for this movie or this television show, you have to do the hashtag ad if they're paying you. That's so why people I, know that it's uh. not... Just you saying, hey, I like this, but it's also you getting paid to promote something or else it's misleading. By the way, we know why Cal is not losing no weight. Why? Because he's eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch with Ciroc and um, <laughs> uh, Bel Air Champagne. My goodness. Very high sugary foods. DJ Khaled wants you to eat a salad. All right. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, 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 hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.